Hi, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Sam and Jay Views. Nice to see you back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Melissa and here we make videos about Australian Shepherds, French Bulldogs, or just puppy advice, dog advice in general. So with that being said, this video is going to be a Q&A answering all your puppy questions. I've been getting a lot of questions asking for tips and advice because a lot of you guys are getting Australian Shepherd puppies and I think that's so awesome and it's always exciting to get a new puppy. So I want to show you guys my tips. From being an owner of two Australian Shepherds, I had raised them ever since they were eight weeks old. Technically, I raised Nova from birth. So I like to say I have experience <laughs> in raising Australian Shepherds. So to get straight into the video, I'm going to answer the first question. And it's from Chasey Jackson. It says, about how long does it take to potty train Australian Shepherds? So I want to make a video in depth on how to potty train but for this video I'm going to say it took me about a month to train Stella how to be potty trained longer for Nova because I've had her ever since she was born but basically how I trained Stella was with puppy pads and I would just take her out every like 40 minutes to an hour and this is just because uh, when puppies are younger they can't really hold their bladder. I don't even think they could hold their bladder. And they go ever so often, so I did not want to risk it. So I would just take her out. Um, I would make time to take her out. And I would use the puppy pads to teach her how to go to them if she had to go before I could take her. So that was just a precaution. She was really good at puppy pad training. Of course, Potty training to go outside is a little bit more difficult, like I said, because they can't really hold their bladder. Jacinda L. asked, Was there a specific reason why you guys chose not to dock their tails? So I got a lot of questions asking why we didn't dock their tails. And basically, docking an Australian Shepherd tails is usually because they're work dogs or show dogs. If they are in the fields, it's recommended to dock their tails so they don't get trampled on. It's just like a precaution. And then for show dogs, they dock their tails just because that's like the look of the Aussie. That's their signature look, the dock tails. But the reason why I didn't dock their tails is because one, I felt bad for the puppies. I always did ask the owners if they want to get their tail docked. We usually announce that Stella is pregnant on her social media, of course, like on this platform, YouTube. And people direct message us all the time asking to get a puppy from us. You shouldn't dock their tails after they're five days old. But to the people that do reach out to us and put a deposit to get a puppy, we ask them if they want to get their tails docked and they usually say no anyway. And the second reason why I don't dock their tails is because if they're only going to be used as pets, then there really isn't any point in docking their tails. And yeah, that's why I don't... That's why I didn't dock their tails. I think the tails are very cute. Um, I love Nova's tail. It's so bushy and fluffy. So I'm really glad I didn't dock her. Jamela Charm asks, what are the supplies needed for a puppy? So there's a lot of supplies needed. I made a video on my top five most important things to buy your puppy first. But regular things like dog food, chew toys, treats a kennel, dog bowls, a leash, a harness, a collar, an ID tag, stuff like that is of course crucial for puppies, puppy pads as well. If you want, you guys can go check out that video. I go more in depth to why or how you can use those certain things to train your pup as well. But I'll leave it down in the links below. She also asks, are Australian Shepherds good for kids? This is a very good question. I believe Australian Shepherds, especially my Australian Shepherds, are very friendly for the most part. They get along great with kids, never any issues whatsoever, but I do believe it's because they kind of grew up with them. Um, so that might be a factor. I know kids can be a little rough sometimes, so if they didn't grow up with kids, they could not be used to that and that might be a problem. But as long as you introduce to your kids in a very early age, I do believe not going to be a problem. The only thing is that they will hurt them. They'll run around in circles, kind of hurting them. But I mean, I don't really see a problem with that as long as they're not nipping. My dogs never nipped any of, of my nephews or anything. So they're actually very gentle with them as well. And they even play with them besides the hurting. My Australian Shepherds are really good with kids. 
but I would always supervise just in case. So Anna says that they just bought a little black by Ozzy. They can't wait to meet her in a month. She asked if I have any tips for an Aussie puppy. So I do get this very broad question all the time if I have any tips for Aussie puppies and I have a lot of videos explaining the Australian Shepherd breed and what they were bred for and what they can do as a breed, how much energy they have and all that stuff. But you're first getting your Aussie puppy. I guess the tip that I can give out is just have a lot of patience, a lot of treats and a lot of consistency with training and you'll go a long way. Australian Shepherds are always aiming to, I, I believe they're always aiming to learn something new and keep themselves busy. So if that's just with uh, some sort of training, I, I would love to put my Australian Shepherds in agility. Maybe just like even a course in your backyard or something, do it like every day or so. Just keeping them busy is a happy Australian Shepherd. If you don't keep them busy, you'll just find yourself having a lot of problems with the Australian Shepherd. So a busy dog is a happy dog and I always have dispensable toys ready for them when I'm out of the house. I, they do have each other, so that's another thing. They're always playing with each other. And just stuff like that would be great if you have your first Aussie puppy. Dragon Frost says, Hi, I'm looking for good breeds for first time service work and I'm wondering if Aussie would be a good option. In your experience, are they difficult to handle? My answer is they are not difficult to handle at all. Aussies are very smart dogs and they learn very quickly and they love to learn. I do believe they would be excellent service dogs because they are so smart and so gentle. I mean, I've never tried to do a service dog training thing, but I would think they would be very good at it. Steve H asks, is it better having two? Do they tire each other out? I'm not too sure if having two is better, but they will tire themselves out with each other. They'll play all day long, 24 seven. Um, actually, I might be lying, <laughs> maybe like 18 seven. They do calm down like you see eventually, but then they restore their energy and start playing all over again. Having two would be good if you got them at different times. Two Australian puppies I think would be a lot of work because they are kind of hyper energetic dogs when they're puppies and it'll just be a lot more time consuming for you if you got two Australian Shepherd puppies at the same time. But if you get one after let's say a couple months or maybe even a year or two, um, then it would be perfect because it's not that much of a hassle. If anything, your first dog could teach your second dog what the first dog already knows and it'll be easier for you as well and then they have each other to kind of tire each other out. Also, that's not going to be enough. You also have to still continue training them. But even though you get another dog, I would still recommend keeping them physically and mentally stimulated because they can still run into trouble even though they have each other and they're constantly playing. Playing doesn't really do anything mentally, it kind of just tires them out a little bit. But they still have to get that mental stimulation somehow to be smarter and more understanding. So yes, I hope that answers your question. Dasha is a joke, asked, by week seven, you aren't trying to figure out temperament and match with potential owners or and the answer is yes, of course. You will see the puppy's temperament pretty much as soon as they start walking. You can tell which one's the alpha. There's always that one puppy that wants to be dominant over all the other puppies. There's always that silent one. There's just so many different types of puppies. And of course you'll be able to see them right away, especially if you're dealing with the litter. Um, you just kind of see their differences right away. And as far as Finding them their potential owners, we do this as soon as we find out Stella's pregnant. We put uh, kind of like how I already said on our social media here on YouTube, we tell you guys that she's pregnant on our Instagram. We tell friends and family. The thing with my litters is I like to have them close either with family, friends. I want to keep the contacts with the potential owner. By week four, our litter already has their owners ready, set up, and everything. There's always never problems of finding owners if you put them as early as you can. So we never run into that issue where our puppy does not have a home. I actually interview the person, make sure that they can contact us, and I just go based off their personality, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I also give them a little speech about 
um, the Australian Shepherd breed. I make sure that they know what they're getting themselves into and make sure that this is a right dog for them. I always want my puppies to have the best life. Yeah, that's how I go about finding potential owners. Ooh, this is a good question. Gigi Jones asks, my puppy is a month old. He was an only born. What can I do to help him be more social? I actually never thought about this. Wow, that's a good question. I actually don't know. <laughs> I guess just as soon as they get their shots, um, their parvo shots, they do have to get four sets of them. After that, just meet up with different dogs with good attitudes, of course. Also, socialization can and has to be with people as well, maybe even kids, um, just really anything. I've also noticed that different animals would even be best. Just get their life out there, be as sociable as they can. I know Nova is terrified of horses on the TV. I can only imagine if she saw a real horse in real life, she'd like freak out. So I think it's really great for them just to, of course, like get to know life. Just to get to know as much as possible is always best for your puppy. Maybe if they're too young to socialize with other dogs, maybe try socializing with people during his little, his little weeks of life. <laughs> Lacey Kamrick asks, when breeding puppies, what age should you sell them? Eight weeks is the recommended date to sell your puppies. It's when they have the most socialization with the litter, with their mother. It's when they already have enough nutrients and antibodies in them to be out in the world. I don't know why Nova loves me so much. Nova, I'm trying to film a video. I'm trying to film a video. And the back of your head is in my way. <laughs> Maybe seven weeks is good too, but I still wouldn't recommend that. Anything below seven weeks is just a no. Like, they don't have enough nutrients from their mom's milk. They're just way too young. I don't understand why people sell them so early. It's just not safe for them. And especially if they don't have their first round of Parvo shots. It could be deadly to even get them outside of their litter um, without their mom and their antibodies. So it's just a big risk. For the most part, I do see people that do take them that early and they live. For the most part, they do live. But I just, I, I think it's just cruel. I don't know, it's a different perspective. But I would just say week eight is like the most sure you could take your puppy home. Minx Fur says that she has an Aussie that only has one of three small spots on her body so she's not too sure if her body will change color when she grows or if she'll just stay gray so from my experience in having my litter none of their coat color changes their pigment in their nose is usually the only thing that changes and their eyes of course but I've never seen coat changing so I think she's just gonna stay that way of course, when she grows, the spots may be bigger or will be bigger. So she's going to look a little different, but it's just growing with her size. So I, I do think she's going to stay the same. I've never seen coat get different. And the last couple of questions come from Riley Siklosi. Sorry if I butchered any of these names. They say, I'm getting my Australian Shepherd Echo on May 30th. I was wondering if you could give me any tips. How often do you give the baths, clean their ears, and brush their teeth? I give my Australian Shepherds a bath every two weeks. If you give them a bath too often, it could actually be bad for their skin. They have to produce those natural oils. I don't bathe them that often actually, but when I do, I do go all out and do um, either a trim. I do their nails sometimes. I clean their ears, all that stuff. Um, cleaning their ears does depend if their ears are dirty or not. I, I will check them occasionally and then when it is time for the bath and they are dirty, I do clean them. If they're dirty, like super dirty before I even have to take them to the bath, I clean it like for the whole week. <laughs> and I have a solution for that um, to clean their ears. When it comes to brushing their teeth, I don't brush their teeth. Um, their first part of at least Stella and Rocket's life, they would eat raw dog food and that would clean their teeth naturally. After that, I did give them antler bones and um, those dental chews. So that's how I keep their mouth clean. But yeah, I hope this video was not too long and it answered most of your questions that you guys keep on sending me. 
Um, I always try to reply to you guys, but there's just so many people who ask me the same questions over and over. Not that it's a bad thing, I just want to make a video so I could just direct you guys to it and answer your questions here. But of course, if you have any more questions, leave it in the comments down below. I will answer you guys as soon as possible. And maybe if I get enough, I'll make another Q&A. But I hope you guys learned a little something. I hope you guys are getting ready for your new puppy. I see so many people getting Asha and Shepherd puppy. And that's just so exciting. I want to get another one, but I can't. <laughs> I don't think I could ever get another one. Two is enough for now but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys are new to my channel don't forget to go and check out my other videos i do make more videos like these and i hope you guys can enjoy them and if you guys like this video don't forget to leave a like so i know that you enjoyed and i can make more but besides that thank you guys so much for watching once again and we'll catch you guys in the next one bye